now that the board is coated in solder mask, we need to image the areas where we want to remove the solder mask we don't need, like pads for surface mounted components. Challenges include accurately removing small amounts of solder mask to define small pads and ensuring precise alignment with the copper circuitry. To expose the solder mask we use different methods. The most common one in series or volume production is using UV light and artworks for both the top and bottom sides to expose a pattern onto both sides of the panel. The process is quite straightforward with different parameters for various solder mask types. The machine aligns solder mask films to the panel on both sides using cameras and fiducials on the production panel. After alignment, the machine secures the panel with a vacuum. UV light exposure begins with defined energy and for a specified time. The UV light interacts with the solder mask polymers within the ink, making them resilient for the next steps. This process can be automated with a line that auto loads, aligns artworks and exposes. Alternatively, it can be done semi-automatically with machines that use camera alignment where operators load panels and expose each side separately. Other methods involve using laser or laser LED light to create the pattern. These methods work well for designs with tiny features like those in HDI designs as they offer precise resolution and the exposure image can be adjusted based on fiducial alignment. However, these machines tend to work at a slower pace compared to the UV exposure method. We check exposure settings in all machines and evaluate the cleanliness of the room to limit foreign particles. This process is a key focus during all NCAB factory audits.